Are you one of those users that likes to have both Android and iOS devices? If you're like me, you like a little of everything. You want a little of everything in the technology that you use on a daily basis. You don't really want all Apple devices. You don't want all Android devices, particularly Samsung or Google. Um, you want a mixture of both. In this video, I'm going to show you today how to transfer files from your Samsung phone to your MacBook. Uh, now, I have a MacBook Pro 2011, so it's a little dated. It's about two years old, um, but I have a Galaxy S4. And so I'm going to show you this. And by the way, if you're wondering, you can also do this on your Galaxy S3. But the S4, of course, is the newest uh, Galaxy phone from Samsung, so we're going to take a look at that. Of course, the Galaxy Note 3 is soon to come out, but for now, the S4 is king. So we're going to take a look at how to transfer photos uh, particularly from your Galaxy S4 to your MacBook by way of iPhoto. Now, iPhoto is the MacBook's uh, photo application that allows you to upload videos. And normally, Apple advocates that you upload photos to your MacBook by way of your iPhone. I have an iPhone. I'm actually recording this video on an iPhone 5. So I have an iPhone, but I've also learned that you can do this with Samsung devices as well. Apple may not want you to know that, but it is the case that you can do it. Uh, so we're going to take a look at today how to do that. Now the first things first, if you have your charger with you, as I have my charger with me, you need to make sure that you get a hold of your charger. Because what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to transfer files with this because you've got to connect this to your phone. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to take it and we're going to connect it in here, as you can see. Then I'm going to basically set up the device where we can then upload the files to iPhoto. And as you can see right now, my iPhoto app is open. So I'm ready to go. All right. Now, as you can see, here it is. I've got it up. And of course, we're going to swipe from the top down like this. And it's going to say connected as a media device touch for other USB options right under the ongoing. So we're going to touch that. And it's going to take us to this page. It's going to say media device MTP. And if you read below, it says you can use Android file transfer on a Mac. So for people that want to transfer files, you actually can transfer them onto a Mac that route. But since I don't want to go through all that, I'm going to select the camera PTP. And it says you can transfer any files onto computers that do not support it. So I'm going to select that. Okay. So it says at the top now, connect it as a camera. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a minute and it should start to appear right here. As you can see, it says GTI9295. This is the Galaxy S4. So now, as you can see, we basically have pretty much nothing up there right now that I want to transfer. Um, but it's loading. So give it a moment. We may actually have some videos here and some pictures. But this is what it's going to do in iPhoto. Now, my iPhoto version is like nine point something. So I don't know how far back this goes as far as compatibility. But this iPhoto application is about two years old. So if yours is about the same age or younger, it should work. But we're going to take a minute to see if it's going to load. It's not loading at this point. But in any case, as this should show you, by way of having the camera PTP function under your USB computer functions, you should be able to upload photos onto the iPhoto. Um, now, if I had done this with the GS3, we would get the same results. So we can actually connect it with the GS3 and we'll probably likely get the same exact thing. So give me a moment to put the charger into the GS3 and we will go about this. So here's my GS3. I'm going to plug it up and then we'll get it going. Thank you. 
Now, you should arrive at the same screen on the GS3 as you have on the GS4. Um, and of course, we're going to select Camera PTP. And of course, what you should get is in a minute, it should show up. See, it says SCHR530U, or OU. This is the Samsung uh, Galaxy S3 with US Cellular. And so, as you notice, it says all photos have already been imported. So, what I can do is, I can go up here to Last Import. It'll open up the photos. Of course, these are BlackBerry, uh, pictures of one of the later BlackBerry probably the Q10 or the Z10 uh, photos and a few other photos as well. Uh, I'm a tech writer. I take photos all the time of, of pictures and certain things across the web. And so this is no different. Uh, we've got a few pictures here, some that are repeating. Um, but in any case, this is how you're able to get your Samsung Galaxy S files onto iPhoto. And it should work. So... If you're ever wondering how to perform this and you really don't know, just put your charger in, um, go click on the USB media section, and go to Camera PTP. You should be able to activate it. I hope this helps uh, for those of you that want to connect your Samsung phones to Apple's iPhoto application on your MacBook. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. Take care, and I'll see you soon.